Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Bods. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for a brick haul and this week it's the April Day haul from last weekend. Now, we had a bit of a tricky situation because one of our children had a, a party halfway through April Day. So I took Ian and the, both kids to the store. We picked up a birthday present for said party and then I headed to the party with my youngest whilst Ian stayed to make the, the Lego purchasing. So actually, I'm not 100% sure what is in this bag. And I know that there is one other thing that was purchased for Mother's Day that I'm not aware of, so that's not in the bag. I will let you know what that is once I know. But let's take a look and see what we got. So we'll start with the stuff that I put in here after they got back from the Lego store, because I went out looking for crazy magazines with crazy minifigures in. Not for me, I'm not a Star Wars fan. That's the Planet Tech. I managed to get two of those. And also, whilst I was at the Lego store, I picked up from the Minifig Who two elf sets that he'd been kind enough to get from my Facebook marketplace near where he lives. So I've got, uh, I think this is Nida's Day Spa or something like that. 41072. And then 41183 which is a Goblin King one. So those were exciting for me. So these are the agreed purchases that Ian had. So he had to pick up the Chinese New Year sets for me. I collect all the Chinese New Year sets, but they haven't normally, they don't normally do like display ones like this. So I was unsure whether he was gonna get this or not, but the completest in me said I needed to have them all. I'm still sad that I still don't have the first new year dinner and I, I i missed an opportunity to get that recently i don't know why i didn't go for it i think because it was so overpriced but i'm happy to have this because it does look beautiful so i think we'll make this at some point and we also picked up the money tree again not entirely convinced that i did need this it's not the same branding in fact as the chinese new year sets there's no red box it's not an eight zero number at the start of the thing so I could have got away with this one I think but actually it will make a good tree in the city so that was an okay thing to do there was a Mother's Day make and take so we picked up another of these poly bags and I think we spent enough to get another moving truck there was a second gift with purchase for 220 I think it was the houses of the world and I figured 220 was too much to be spending whereas we were close to this so I said to Ian, like, go for this one. Try and get this. So there is another mystery purchase. I don't think it's a, a, a big one that helped us get to that. Plus one, two, three, four pick a brick cups. So I think that definitely helped us get over the, the level. Now, Ian tells me that these might not be very well packed. And we're going to do the little shake test just to see. Yeah, quite a shake on that one. Oh my goodness, that one's really shaky. Yeah, same with that one. So the reason behind the poor pub stacking is because, like I said, I took my youngest to the party, but I left my eldest daughter with Ian, and she was very much involved in the pub stacking. And she's she had fun, but I don't think she's quite got the techniques down yet. She was stacking things. She was like making groups of of things but then she was just throwing them into the into the cup so they're not utilizing the space well but I'm, i am intrigued to see what they've got because there's quite a lot in there so i will start opening that and see what we've got whilst we were there actually i did pick up the catalog and actually it's a very thick catalog this time so maybe it's a very comprehensive list i'm gonna have a look and see if there's anything that i wasn't aware of in here so pub cup number one it's just gone everywhere. So it looks like Ian does not value my fingernails because we've got a whole stack of 16, uh, of eight by eight plates here. Not offset in any way, so kind of mean. Then we've got a two by four tan. Interesting technique there. But... Oh, these are nicely stacked. Look, that actually makes that look really cool. There are the little dishes some cloud pieces probably didn't need those got quite a few one by two sand blue whole bunch of clear headlight pieces 
some white uh, bread loaves, I think they're called. These things, they're funky. Glad to see those because I heard they were there and I, I was hoping you got some. Some purple brackets, some two by one by fives. And I believe my daughter was using these to make like lighthouses. I don't think Ian got a picture of that, unfortunately. One by four, black ones, and a random corner. Oh, and it's not bricks, which stands for studs not on top. Right, on to the next one. Okay. Whoa. Right, this one's interesting. So we've got more of these sort of flowery type pieces. Some upslopes, purple, dark tan, round jumpers, dark tan, two by two tiles. Some interesting techniques going on here. So we've got a whole bunch of these arches then held together with the pink. This technique of, of fitting bricks in pab is from Kerry's wonderful pab filling video which I'll link up for you so if you want to see how to fill with these bricks follow her method and more of parts that we had in the previous one so I will oh and some filler bricks of one by ones in nougat and tan okay pab jug number three wow so that's one large amount of the purple leaves i'm not entirely sure whether ian managed to get anything in these grooves to fill that up hopefully he did that was probably these pieces the one row uh, the cheese soaps we got some light tan or tan jumpers some olive leaves and then these are medium nougat i think they are four by eight plates they're quite useful there's quite a few of those and thankfully stacked so that i can get them apart and then a couple of these random slopes i'm not sure what ian's intending to do with those but not many of those the rest all look like pieces we've already seen apart from this one more plant pieces so we've got one more cup to go okay last one wow this one's a fun one so we've got an interesting stacking technique on these is managed to sort of stack them and then sort of munge them together so i think if i pull these apart this should that's actually a really nice technique there for that i don't know how much space it wastes but it seems better than having them like side by side so we've got some of the nice fence pieces again that looks pretty good stacked but i feel like you can get some pieces in in the grooves some masonry bricks, one by fours, tan, some trans red pieces, some coral slopes, pink flowers. We definitely don't need taps, I've just been sorting pieces. All the like extra pieces you get in a set seem to come with a lot of taps, so we don't need those, but that's fine. And then some swirly things. I think that is everything in there so lots for me to sort yay actually i really enjoy pab sorting so i'm not bothered but it might take me a little while so here's the entirety of my haul i had a good time sorting the lego with my daughter on strike day today i definitely need to head to ikea and try and get some of the smaller bags because that's why it looks so much because it's all in massive bags and i have a feeling that ikea have maybe discontinued that bag but I guess I could just get bags from somewhere else. So let me know which item in the haul is your favourite. Also, if you like brick hauls, check out our brick haul playlist at the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>